Good morning, America, and welcome to San Francisco. My name is Amber Johnson, and I will be the final survivor. Because of my natural leadership skills, my ability to think quick on my feet and change my strategy when necessary, as well as my strength of relating to people of all walks of life, what it boils down to, America, is that I have the mental and the physical endurance to be the last one on the island. Come on, let me show you my world. One of the keys to winning the game of Survivor is knowing how to work as a team. And because of my strong leadership skills, I know I can bring my tribe to victory. As a pharmaceutical sales representative, I have gained valuable skills that have helped me not only be a success in this industry, but will also help me succeed on the island. I'm required each and every day to think quick on my feet according to my strategic planning, and this has allowed me to be successful in order to reach my goals. Secondly, because of the autonomy of this job, I know how to not only lead and motivate others to help them achieve their goals, but I'm also, and most importantly, able to lead and motivate myself to reach my own goals. And finally, what it comes down to is my positive attitude. Each and every day, I maintain a strong positive attitude that not only helps me build and maintain strong working relationships, but also to gain the trust of those that I work with in order to succeed in this business. And here we have Amber Johnson again. Amber, I'm going to ask you three questions. Okay. Right off the cuff. All right. All right. You're making me nervous. All right. All right. Give me three adjectives to describe yourself in terms of why you would be or will be the final one standing on the island. Very ambitious. Driven, or is that the same thing? Ambitiously driven. Uh -huh. Relaxed, which is good in terms of um, a lot of people stress out in difficult situations where I do not. And smart. I know uh -huh. how to play. I know how to work. And I know how to work smarter, not harder. Good response, good response. All right, so give me a, um, a dis tell me a story for number one. You said uh, ambitiously driven. Mm -hmm. uh, can you illustrate that? Give me, give me a, a time in your life where you were, you know, using that ambition or, or drive to get what you wanted and maybe illustrate that with a little personal story. Yeah, um... One thing that comes to mind is when I got the job that I'm currently doing, which is in pharmaceutical sales, and I had heard that it's an awesome job, and I had never thought once that it was something that I would do, but a lot of people recommended that it would be a good opportunity for myself to, um, to check out. So I called up a company and had found out that they were one of the top companies and sent them my, my resume and didn't hear back from so I went ahead and called the manager myself and told him that I would be the best salesperson that he could hire and that was five years ago and here I am today. I've won many awards. I've been at the top of my region as well as in the top 10% of the company and I know that um, it was because of my ambition to reach out and my drive to get the position because it was tough, tough competition. Reminds me a lot, or it's very similar to this, trying out for Survivor and being on it. Sounds good, Amber Johnson. Well, I look forward to hopefully seeing you on the big screen. Thank Thanks. you very much. Uh-huh.